Hello and welcome to the video. <laughs> Take three. Um, just want to put this out there. Um, this is this uh, tutorial here is a do at your own risk, okay? Because I don't know what the consequences are of this. Um, could be I've been using mine for I don't know a month now, I guess, or something. So far, it's okay. Um, don't know what the devs think of this. Um, there is a map on Mini Zerg. I, I do know that the the devs are okay. The, they think that the third party tools are cool. Um, they use them themselves and um, had that conversation with one of the devs. And because uh, if they didn't like it, I was going to stop using it and just stick to the to the game the way. The way it's intended, I guess, you know, but I guess the fun thing about this game is that you can customize and do it the way you want and play it the way you want um, between the game and the third party tools and now putting industries and stuff. So um, I didn't invent this. I'm just a uh, silly end user that can follow instructions. <clears throat> so uh, some people have asked how to do this. Um, so the person who invented this was, uh, let's see, where am I? This guy here, IN76G. And I'm going to put the link to this post on the Discord. Um, so you can just go straight to the post. And basically, this is the tutorial right there. Okay. Go somewhere and place down a firewood depot, then save it. Open the save game and search for industry location array. You have to, you need a hex editor for that. Okay. We'll show you how to do that. Go back to find the fixed 16 length of the word industry locator, industry location array. Then go back four more bytes to find OA, which indicates the last place industry is a firewood depot. I don't know how we figured all this stuff out, but he knows what he's doing. I think he's the one that um, owns mini Zerg. I believe I'm not sure. You can comment if you know the answer to that. Then just change this to anything from 01 to OE and save the game, load the game, surprise yourself. There you go. So this is this when you do a search for industry location array with the hex editor, you're gonna find all this stuff. And it's this in the yellow right here, the OA. Um, that's the first one after this 16 and then the three zeros. You're gonna change that to one of these depending which one you want, okay? Um, if, uh, you know, pause the video here, you could write this down, take a screenshot of it. You see, it's bigger if I open it up here. There. Take a screenshot of this. You want to save this information and this information. That's what you need to save, okay? And the second person I'd like to thank is Lamarch74, who is a follower on Twitch and comments on my YouTube videos and uh, is a pretty cool dude seems like and he helped me with the, the, the hex editor figuring that out. I probably would have figured it out but uh, he made me figure it out a whole lot faster so thanks Lamarch74 for that and then we'll just um, we'll just do uh, the tutorial now with we'll a place in the industry somewhere. So this is my test map. It's got uh, downloaded this map from Mini Zerg Online. It's got no trees on it. Um, there's uh, I have videos about that. I have my test grades over there for pulling and stuff. So this is a good place to fool around with this. So we want to add a firewood depot. That's the first step. Okay. Now it's Im it's important to note. Look at the smoke. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that um i think i think the this loading platform is going to represent the loading platform in the industry you want to place so the loading platforms kind of line up so if i'm doing a sawmill right here if i'm doing a sawmill right here uh this is this uh, loading dock or this loading platform with the firewood on it um when I once I place the uh, sawmill, that's going to be the loading dock with the cranes on it. Okay, and I know the sawmill has 
loading and unloading. Uh, the, the logging camp is the only one that has two different loading spots. I don't know. I've only placed a logging clamp and a, a logging camp and a sawmill. I think on the logging camp, this platform lined up with. I'm gonna say the, the the logging platform. I remember it was like a month ago. But you're gonna have to play with that, so it's gonna take a couple tries. So we're gonna, we're just gonna place this down, and then we're gonna save it. This is my slot ten. And then we're going to leave the session because we're going to edit the uh, the hex, okay? So what we want to do is open a new tab. You, if you have a hex editor, you could just use any hex editor. Um, I think I used uh, hex edit. Hexed.it. I'll put this link in the description as well. Okay. And what I did was copy this here. Industry with the quotes. Industry location array. And then you type it in the search box. Enter. There is no data. Oh, because I didn't I didn't look. <laughs> I didn't load the save. Okay, so open file. This is my save game, slot 10. And now let's search for the industry location array. Come on, I know you're in there. You have to be in there. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe it's without the quotes. Let's try without the quotes. There we go. Sorry. Without the quotes. Let me correct myself without the quotes. So the, this this pops up with these bytes. There's your 1600 and after this after this highlighted section the 16 then this OA this is the firewood depot I just placed. Right? Just like in this image here you have all this highlighted and then the 16 and then the OA. Okay, and we're going to change that. Um, what should we place? What should we place? Let's place. Let's be silly and place the the oil fields. Now let's do something simple. Let's stick with a a, um, a logging camp. Let's do the logging camp, which is O one. So I just click on this OA, then type 0, 1, and then we're going to save as slot 10. And <clears throat> I'm going to take, I'm going to take my slot 10 that I have now that we know is good. I put some work making and I don't want to, I don't want to lose it if something goes wrong. So I'm going to put it in my documents folder. Uh, I'm going to replace it. Yes, because I can. And then my download slot 10, I'm going to put in the save games folder. Now it's in there. Okay. So now we're going to load slot 10, but I am going to quit the game, restart it. Okay. And we're going to even quit Railroads Online and restart that. I don't think we need Railroads Online to do this. This is my coffee coffee tutorial this doesn't matter anyway um, and I'll pause this while it's loading so you don't have to suffer through the loading screen and we're back
If you can hear that in the background behind me, I hear the logging camp. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. <laughs> All right, so if you remember, I was standing here and I placed this. Okay, so I guess it was reverse. So this is where you're going to have to experiment. You know, it all depends where you're placing it and stuff. <clears throat> you're going to have to experiment. Now, this placed really nice. Um, I had a situation with um, the sawmill where the, the sawmill was not at the right height. So what I did was, because my the reason why I added the, a logging camp and the sawmill over by the coal mine was not to make things easier so much. I kind of wanted to make a different situation. That uh, I explained in one of my other videos. And if you wouldn't want to put the logging camp down in here, okay? But what you could do is you could build up groundwork. Right? And place a firewood depot on the groundwork. And then place your industry there and build up everything underneath it. Then you could have an industry over here if you wanted. Um, you have to be careful with where you place it on the map. You got to have enough flat territory to place it. What I'll do is I'm, I'm I will uh, I'm going to load my main map and show you where I place my industries and some of the considerations I had to take for those those two that might help you and what I had to go through. Like when I placed my sawmill industry, it was too low. It was way too low. Um, this platform was, I think, under the dirt. So what I did was I kind of referenced, I referenced the height of this by looking third person. Yeah, that, the bottom, see that small wheel, the small gear? The small gear was on the grass when I placed my sawmill for whatever reason. So what I did was I looked at, um, I went to the real sawmill and measured the height of where that wheel should be. And that's about as high as my head. And then what I did was made, made some groundwork I made some groundwork as high as my head. That's higher than my head right there. So I need to walk forward a little. Yep, right there is pretty much the right height. So I place that. Now I know I know that was that was how much I had to raise it. There's other ways of raising it. Using uh, other types of tools. I don't know how to do that yet. Eventually I'll figure that out and that'll be another video, I guess. So all I did was place my firewood depot here on this. And it took me a few tries to get it exactly where I wanted it. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you move the sawmill, the lake does not go with it. And I put my sawmill on the river so that when you offload the logs, the logs go in the river, which will kind of cool. But that is the down and dirty version of moving uh, an industry, okay? I don't know how to change an industry. Like, if I wanted to change the industry, I wouldn't know how to find it. I'd have to ask someone like Ian, how do I find an existing industry and change it? I don't know why you would want to do that, but you could. And um, I did scout the whole map for all different spots to make different scenarios. So what I'll do is I'm going to pause the video here and then um, load in my map and show you where I place my industries. And we're back. And I just loaded my main map that I work with. So this is my map. 
and over here by the coal mine, you can see I have a sawmill and a logging camp. And the function of this was um, I wanted a challenge bringing the logs down to the sawmill and then a second challenge on a switchback to get up to the coal mine. And then but this railroad here that brings the lumber, uh, the beams, right? Coal mine uses beams. Brings the beams up to the coal mine, doesn't actually connect to the coal mine. So I can't just drive the train into the coal mine. I have to offload car to car. So it's like an imaginary, say, two-foot gauge railroad that doesn't work on these tracks or something, you know, or just a different railroad. Offload car to car and then bring your stuff to the coal mine. So we're going to we're going to teleport here. And I'll show you what I did here. So when when I placed this again, the uh, the loading platforms were were in the ground completely it was too low. And uh, I didn't understand why the lake wasn't showing up, but it's because the lake is not part of the industry. So <clears throat> this is where you offload logs. They go down into the river. Um, some of them do wind up in the ground, which is not realistic, but um, most of them are in the river, which is pretty realistic. It's kind of cool. And then, you know, from here, I, I load my train. I have a... I'm just I'm just showing you this. Maybe this is going to spark some ideas for you. I have a eight car train to carry lumber and beams up with the climax on each end, and the whole switchback is um, six percent. And one of these days, I guess I'll do a video on making a switch switchback because I think I'm gonna this this line here that goes up to the logging camp is also six percent. I think I'm gonna take that out and continue this and make a switch back up to the logging camp. So if you switch back down, switch back up. I think that'll be cool. And then I'll show you my logging camp. Let's, let's teleport over here. This is the logging camp. And so when I place this logging camp, it took I got it on the third try. Lucky like once I figured out which way it had a face, cut down the proper amount of trees, and then some of these buildings were in the air. So I just had to build groundwork underneath them. Right there. This was partially in the air. So I built some groundwork underneath it. All this was fine. And I picked up, you know, I tried to find a nice level spot to put all this stuff. And there you have it. So that's my quick and dirty, down and dirty, whatever tutorial. Again, use at your own risk. Um, definitely save your map now. Take that file and put it somewhere. Okay. And uh, if you put it on Minizerg, <clears throat> if you're using slot one, you put it on Minizerg, and then you move an industry. And also save it in slot one, then upload that slot one to Minizerg, you're going to lose your, 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 your first save. So take that, that save that you have now that you probably worked so hard on and put it somewhere on your computer and name it, you know, uh, save before industry move or something like that so that you have it in case something goes wrong. Like if this, this locks my game up, having this industries here, and it's no good. I can at least go back to a point where I had most of my track, um, Although I have done a lot since then, I, I don't even know, you know. I mean, that's what I was saying. From down here, I want to make a switchback from right there up to here. So, again, use it your own risk. And thanks to those that helped me. All right. Peace out, yo.